buddy. Today is Thursday, October 3rd. It's 8.04 a.m. And I got an offer from DoorDash to go to Eggworks and also go to Starbucks and, and deliver to a single customer. I'm going to get $14.50 for 5.5 miles. I got the food in the car and the order was ready to go so there was no problems uh, getting the uh, order so now I've got to head on over to uh, Starbucks to pick up I guess they ordered coffee with their breakfast even though their their food came with a drink maybe they ordered dessert too at Starbucks I don't know so <clears throat> the direction I have to go to get to the Starbucks sets me up to have to make a U-turn at um, uh, on Eastern but the traffic is too crazy to try to make a U-turn so I've got to go up to Sunridge Heights which is the next street up and make a left there and then a left on Eastern nine minutes 2.9 miles I mean that pickup was so fast I got to Starbucks in record time every single light was green it was unbelievable and the order was ready at Starbucks I just walked in and grabbed it now comes the hard part I've got to deliver to a business and the directions are complicated it's some type of trailer in the rock yard Enter through a side gate on the far left facing the store closest to the Circle K. Man, that is confusing. Well, I know where the, the uh, Circle K is, so I'll just sort of make a slow crawl around until things make sense to me, and then I'll park and make my way to this, uh, <laughs> this trailer. Uh, just three minutes from here, one mile. Time is 11.36 a.m. It's another slow day. I got an offer from DoorDash to go to Target and shop for two items and then go pick something up at Taco Balance for two different customers. I'm going to get $13.50 for 6.7 miles. Well, that was a very uh, unpleasant experience. 
They only had two items, right? Yogurt and pineapple juice. And they didn't have any pineapple juice. And they had no substitution. So I was sort of uh, stuck. I was like, well, what do I do? They don't have the pineapple juice and they don't have a substitution. I pressed the button to uh, send a suggestion because they had a pineapple mango juice. And when I tried to send that message, it got an error. When I tried to call them, it didn't ring. It was as if they had no actual phone number. And the app sent them a, responded to them saying that, you know, the item wasn't, wasn't in stock or whatever and to suggest something to your DoorDash driver, they never responded. So they didn't get anything. And uh, I just headed out of there with just a, uh, um, a thing, a, a container of yogurt and that was it and uh, when I first arrived here at uh, Target I got a message saying that the Taco Bell order was ready for pickup so that order has been sitting there at Taco Bell ready for about 10 minutes now at least maybe 15 minutes and I still am not even close to getting to Taco Bell I've got another five minutes before I even get there and so whoever whatever automated system put this order to this offer together really messed up because there was no way I was going to be able to pick up the Taco Bell order uh, once it was ready in time because of the uh, the Target order. So I was out, um, <laughs> I was out of luck. So um, yeah, so this one is not pleasant at all, and um, I just can't wait for it to be over with. Okay, well, that was uh, ready to go, so I got, can't be upset with that, so that was good. And now I'm just trying to get the heck out of here, and everybody's leaving at the same time. So all these people are coming out of Taco Bell for whatever reason all at once. And there's no internet, so I can't even confirm the pickup of the order. I did look inside of the uh, instructions you know there's like a floating widget for DoorDash and so it gave me the information as far as uh, where the drop-off is for one of the customers so but I don't know if this is if that's the first customer I'm supposed to go to or not so the fact that I don't have internet is making this really difficult <laughs> really difficult so uh, Okay, I finally got it finally went through Five, six minutes 2.2 miles. It's a handed to me I'll wait in front of this business wearing glasses black pants short hair I'm a Asian female got it. All right. I'm on my way customer The customer met me at the car So that was an easy drop-off and now I have to drive 2.2 miles, eight minute drive. It's a leave at the door. Uh, it looks like it's a business based on the street address. And uh, hopefully they're not gonna be too upset that all they're getting is a, is a carton of yogurt. It's not a business. It appears to be an apartment and, and it's one of these ones with the security gate. And they gave me no code and they gave me no building number. I'm here in the complex and it's not easy to find the uh, apartment. I found the building number, but the, uh, the front door is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna try going this way and see if this works.
the next one. It's from Uber Eats. I'm going to be going on over to P.F. Chang's. $9.90 for 0.9 miles. have to wait too long for the order which was great because pf chang's usually you have to wait a really long time and there were there was one or two other delivery drivers heading out of there when i got when i walked in man these people park so bad they're like so close to me i don't and i don't think it's because the parking spots are too tight i just think that they parked really bad one guy parked at an angle next to me so I was having a hard time gauging how to park straight into the parking spot and uh, I'm going to be going off to a business 0.6 miles from here so it's really close and uh, I just have to figure out how to get there uh, three minutes they said it's a it's a business they said uh, sweet number but then they said just meet outside meet out out front in front of building by the pickup area so I guess that will make sense once I get closer all right I'm just gonna turn into this uh, where this Wendy's is and um, Hopefully I see it right away. I've never been to any kind of uh, pickup place over here where you can just turn in. Is it here where I turn? Or is it the next one? Uh-huh. Well, this is the building. And then they said... Oh wait, maybe that's them there in the in the shirt. Let's see. Hello. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Here's your drink. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay? Have a good day. Thank you. All right, I got the next one. It's 12:36 p.m. and things are really picking up. It's getting busy. I got something from Uber Eats to go to Pizza Rock for $15.04 and drive 5.2 miles. It's about a 10 minute wait for the, for the pizzas. They were not even started yet when I arrived. And they just put the ticket in so in fact i think it was longer than 10 minutes i think it was 15 minutes now that i think about it i read like a full article like a news article on the internet <laughs> and then after that i got tired of reading stuff on the internet and i just sat there and stared into space for a while and was just listening you know looking at the the sports tv screens and just chill just relax just relaxing and uh oh boy this guy was like, wait a minute, why aren't you going? And I'm like, I'm going to go. And he's like, wait, I'm going to go too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord, we're effing each other up. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I tried to be polite. And it didn't work out. It ended up just making everybody mad. That's just the way it goes. So I'm off to a uh, house. 15 minutes from here, 4.8 miles. It's a leave at the door. Go. 
Okay. Have a good one.